hello everyone in this video we'll talk about refresh view register refresh handler so basically we are going to cover a use case in which we'll see how to update a custom component from a standard view without a page refresh so let's go to our vs code let's create a brand new lwc component we'll go to command palette say create lightning web component and we'll give this name as refresh custom view then we'll go to a meta file first we'll change is exposed to true and we'll set the targets the target we are using right now is lighting record page let's go to the html let's create our lightning card so we'll say lightning card then we'll give the title and say refresh custom view from standard view and then we can put a div here in with class sls variable margin around medium this will make sure the content that comes inside this div will not touch the border of the cards and we'll say my refresh component we are just setting up a component so that we can place this component on page so let's deploy this component i have already connected my vs code to my salesforce org so the component is deployed let's go to our org so i am inside a sales app and under the account object in which i already open one of the record page and we're going to place that component on a record page because we already set the target as lighting record so let's go to gear icon click on edit page and now we are going to search for our component that is refresh custom view and drag that component the canvas or to the page you can see the text is coming immediately my refresh component and it's looking good because it's wrapped with the card let's save it make sure you saved it properly and let's come back so now our component is set up perfectly that should be always your first task to create a basic component structure and place it on a right page now the next task is to create a problem statement so let's go to our vs code and let's see let's create an apex class first so let's say create apex class and we'll say refresh controller and under the refresh controller let's change this name to a method name get account rating and i'll say public static and list of account and to make this method available for lwc make sure it is using aura enabled I'll just use or enabled and I want to return let me close this so I'll return run the SOQL query so I'll say select ID and rating from account when I call this method now just make sure end it with a semicolon so when I call this method now it will return me all the accounts but I want only the account in which we are placing our component so i'll say give me the account where id is account id and this account id we will pass from lwc we'll say id base account id so it will return a list of account and ideally it will return only one record in that list because we are putting a claw give us the account only which match with this account id so let's deploy this and at the same time we can refer our component in our or basically we can call our method inside our 
NWC components. So let's go to the JS file and first import the method. So we'll say import method name is get account rating from at salesforce apex slash then the class name and then the method name now we want to call this method on page load so what we can do is we'll call our lifecycle hook connected callback and we'll say this dot fetch rating so this method we're gonna create now so on load we are calling this method fetch rating and inside this we are going to call our account rating apex method which needs an account id so we need to pass the account id an account id is nothing it's a record id so we'll say this dot record id and we will get this record id automatically on page load using at api so we'll say at api record id because we are placing this component on a lightning record page so with this notation you will get the record id of the page so once you get the record id you will pass this to this method and this method will do two things either it returns a response or it will return an error so if it return an error we will catch it on catch block and we'll print the error using console.error print that error and if it's success we'll print that response as well so let's deploy this and make sure you deploy your x class before deploying your js so let's deploy now the code is deployed let's go and refresh the page and before that let's open the debugger inspect go to console let me zoom the console a little bit and let's clear the console as well and let's refresh the page so now what will happen on load it will call the fetch rating fetch rating will call the apex method pass the record id and bring the response so it pulled the empty array let's see what rating we have rating is there so maybe we are missing something quickly go to our apex let's refresh and clear the cache sometimes the cache also cause an issue so now the data is coming yeah the data is coming and the rating is warm and if you go to the details tab the rating should be warm yeah so we are getting a response we'll take out that response we'll use we'll create a property we'll say rating value this is a local property and we'll say this dot rating value equal to response of zero because we are getting a list of one record so we'll go into zeroth index that will pick up the first record and we'll say take that rating yeah and we will print this rating on our html we'll say my rating is our account rating not my account rating is rating value let's deploy this and see whether this value is printing on a custom component or not so it is deployed now let's go and refresh the page and if you are thinking how i'm getting this pop-up so when you open a inspect and do a right click on a refresh icon you will get this option so now you can see that account rating is warm is coming on screen and let's understand the problem now so i have a custom component and i have a standard component so when i change a value on standard component to hot and hit save you will see the value on the custom component remain warm until unless i refresh the page explicitly on page refresh it will pass the latest value and it change the value to hot now it's in sync so to avoid this we're gonna use our refresh to api so let's implement that 
so we are back on our VS code so let's go to our JS file let's introduce our method we'll say import first we'll import that method that is register refresh handler and we're gonna import this from lightning slash refresh so now the first thing is we want to tell this component to listen to the change or a refresh change for this we'll use this method so we'll call this method on a connected callback and this method is used to register a component to listen the refresh enabled views this method takes two parameter context limit and provider method let me explain what it is so the context element is the reference of our current component that is this and provider method it's a callback method who will listen to the refresh event so this is a basically a method we'll give a reference of our method so we'll call our method name as refresh handler you can give any name and we're gonna create that method here so whenever there is a change in any refreshed view uh, enabled views we listen and this method gets called so just to test that we can put some console here console.log and we can say something has changed and also the important point here is this method required to return a promise so we need to return a promise from this and that represent the refresh status and it returns true or false if it returns true uh, it basically it returns a promise with resolve true or false if resolve true it means the refresh successful if resolve false it means the refresh is not successful so we'll say return we'll create a promise and we'll say resolve you already know we have resolve reject resolve, uh, resolve and reject in promise and we'll say resolve true which means everything is good refresh is successful now what we want is whenever this method got called within the promise we want to call our fetch rating again so that if any change happens oops if any change happens on a standard view it will immediately listen and it will call this method again so that we'll get the updated value let me reiterate here so i have imported the register refresh handler in which i have passed two things one is a context element that is a reference of our component and the handler who will listen to the refresh event this method will return an id that is a unique identifier of this handler so let's store that id and we'll store this a property refresh handler id so we'll say this dot refresh event handler id because there could be a chance there are multiple refresh handler on multiple components so it returns a unique id that tells this id belongs to which handler we store this one let's deploy and test whether our component is working or not now it should listen to a refresh change on a standard component as soon as it listen it print this on console call the promise within the promise it update all the method and when it's successful it return resolve true the component is deployed let's go to our org let's open the inspect let's refresh the page let's go to console clear the console now it is printing on a custom component account rating is hot let's go to detail tab and let's change the rating now hot to warm let's hit save as soon as it changed you see it is printing something has changed which means our this method has listened the change and it immediately calls the api or the apex and it prints form and it updates the account rating here so now the value has been updated successfully so now our event is working fine and listening is also working fine the only bit that is missing here is 
we have registered but we haven't deregistered it or unregistered it so to do that what we want to do is we'll call disconnected callback and inside that we're gonna call our unregistered refresh handler and we will pass this id that will tell this unregistered refresh handler to unregister this listening and let's import this and let's deploy and test finally so the changes has been deployed let's test finally let's clear the cache so i'll go to details tab and currently the account rating is warm let's change it to hot hit save and you can see it's updating immediately so our use case is working fine now we are refreshing the custom view from the standard view successfully so that's it for this video and thanks for watching this video